All right, we are out on lap number two. We are at KRX land out in California. There's a whole slew of these bad boys out here. Um, while we're waiting to go, I wanted to show you a little on the leg room in here. I am 6'1", tons of room, tons of room. Uh, grab bar is very comfortable. The seating position is great. Uh, the first lap was full of some great speed, some slow speed. Uh, we got to test out the engine braking on it. A lot more to come. It is beautiful out here in Southern California. They've been working on this demo track now every single day for a solid month. Um, the track's great. The setup's awesome. Hospitality's rocking. We're communicating via rugged radios. It says, all right, let's go. dusty but it is beautiful out here this is a great proving grounds to be out at perfect setup for a demo course not sure what lap 2 has in store for us but I'm sure it's gonna be good inside the cab Okay, so we're at a long stretch here. We're gonna let the car in front of us get out a little ways. guys I'm pretty impressed with the power thus far it's hard to tell till you get out with some other vehicles of course but man it sure feels good inside the cab you'll notice just sitting here uh, the vibration inside the cab is pretty much zero I mean there's that antenna that antenna's not even moving, um, cords aren't vibrating. Little, little movement inside the cab, and it's quiet. Wanted to point out through there uh, very very surprised on the tire selection on this vehicle um, so far super impressed with it uh, it seems to grip the rocks really well 
makes it through the turns really sharp. Um, again, blown away with the turning radius on this thing. Power steering is flawless on it. Um, two finger driving if you wanted. Going back into high range, got some twists and turns here coming up. vehicle out there on the market today. <laughs> we, 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 did, we just got rear-ended. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're not bumping, you're not racing, right? That's what they say. Um, so, uh, the... So there's a tight section uh, coming up. Some nice rock crawling, nice wall looks like coming up there. Um, our group's traveling a little quicker than the group in front of us and so we got a little bottleneck here for a second. Um, inside the cab area, you can see the two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and diff lock selector switch. Um, super easy there. This grab bar is adjustable. You do need to open up the glove box to make that adjustment happen. Just simply pull on that knob and you're able to adjust that grab bar. Being from Utah, we do a lot of this type of riding, and it was fun listening to some of the dealers talk to the other dealers about how gnarly the course was. You know, for some of the dealers, they've never been in any type of terrain like this, so it's been fun listening to them talk about the, the terrain out here, but this is a typical day for us out in Utah. We love to punish these vehicles, and uh, you're going to see it in Moab, you're going to see it in Sand Hollow, you're going to see it at the dunes. We're going to have a lot of fun in this vehicle. So 
back to inside the cab um, I was mentioning how there's no vibration which is totally crazy compared to the the Terex and the Terex 4 that we've been you know dealing with and uh, having good success with over the last I don't know five six years or whatever um, but we do know that uh, the noise is one of the downfalls of that and so far really impressed with the sound inside the cab on this vehicle I mean sitting here idling you can you barely even know the machines even running also uh, as you can see here both from the driver and the passenger side looking out and checking out the position of the front tire is nice when you're out rock crawling you're going to be able to actually see the placement of that front tire i know that's probably a little jiggly i'm kind of zoomed in Through all this, they have not had a... So in a nutshell, this vehicle does have, uh, as we mentioned, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, limited slip, and differential lock, all with turning the knob. Um, you can see there up on the dash that it is in diff lock. Also, there's a low power mode. Um, I'm going to get... Another thing you'll see with the, when you're in diff lock, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to steer. So make sure you uh, make some good wide turns and can stay on the trail. So the machine does have a low, Let's go. low power mode. Um, gonna get some more information about that, but basically it's powering down the machine for these slow speed, uh, rocky, gnarly sections. And as we're used to in diff lock, the power steering is gonna be a little, little harder to steer even with the successful power steering. He's mobbing.
Very nice. Downhill engine braking again is phenomenal. Cool little arch there. I'm actually balancing my phone on the seat. That, that's how little vibration is in the machine. Perfect. So we do have our... Uh, our chick driver here. Say Hello. hi, Ray. Hello, everyone. So... What do you think so far? Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. How can it not be? I mean, really impressive machine for sure. In these down times while we're sitting here, Pay attention to how quiet this machine is. Holy cow. Sounds like uh, may have had a rollover. So also while we're sitting here, uh, right up top here is a great spot to store your cell phone, some other small items, keep them out of the elements, out of the weather. That's what that's designed for. If you do the interior sound system, it'll also put an additional outlet up there to keep your device charged while you're out jamming through the dunes or the rocks. You've also got a 12-volt uh, accessory outlet right here. Dual cup holders up front. Cup holder in the side. And a couple more cup holders in the back. So, plenty of room to store all your beverages. Okay, this switch back to high range, four wheel drive, and let's finish it up here. High range. Go back to the high power mode too. High power mode. Yeah, go back to high power mode. Yeah, yeah.
yeah, second lap was a blast, you guys. More info to come. We're gonna go meet some uh, engineers, talk a little bit more about the car, and uh, catch y'all on the web. Check us out at BigPineSports.com. Give us a call, 435-427-3338. Have a great day, everybody.